Now we're gonna go through some of the popular POCs on the market. We have just about all of them right now. Um, to start with, there's the Energen lineup. Uh, Energen, you're gonna see a lot of advertising for online. Uh, it's kind of half because they have a huge marketing budget and it's half because they are really good machines. Uh, to start with, we have the Energen G4. This is the smallest, lightest weight POC on the market. Uh, it's about as simple as that. It goes up to a three setting. Now the downside with the such a small machine is it's only gonna have a battery life of about two and a half hours with a two setting. Um, moving on to the Energen G5, that's this one right here. It's bigger, it's heavier than the G4. Uh, the upside is it's still gonna be smaller than most other competitors on the market and it actually has up to a 10 plus hour battery life, which is really outstanding. If you want a machine that's gonna be able to last all day without any issues, the G5 is the one you have to go with. Moving on, we have the Simply Go Mini. Simply Go Mini, slick, stylish, LED screen on top, nice and quiet. Um, other than that, I, I do think the standout feature with that one is the LED screen and also it has a really slick looking backpack, really stylish, uh, and that's really nice to have out there. Next up, we have the Precision Medical lineup of POCs. This is the Li Live Active 5. This is kind of their competitor to the G5. It's a little bit bigger, it's a little bit louder, but what people actually really like about the Precision Medical machines is they all have these nice, easy buttons up top to uh, select your setting with. You don't have to worry about reading a tiny screen or anything like that. You just press your button for your setting. You're good to go. Same's gonna to apply to the uh, Easy Pulse uh, POC3. Uh, this is kind of the competitor to the G4. It's uh, really small, it's lightweight. Um, same thing with the screen on this one. It's just one, two, three buttons and your off button. Um, yeah, if you're looking for a more affordable small machine, that's the one to go with. Finally, for the continuous dose machines, we have the Drive iGo 2 right here. Uh, we'll have all the information about that right here. And then we have the P2. This is really nice because this is one of the few uh, small machines on the market that's actually capable of doing 24 seven uh, usage. Uh, that's one of the things that they kind of market as being a nice benefit of this one. And like I said before, you don't want to use these POCs actually as your only machine. Uh, that's going to be really expensive for you in the long run. But they are really nice for if you're traveling or something like that, you don't have access to your home machine for a while. And finally, we have some of our continuous dose POCs right here. Now we are missing the uh, Easy Pulse Total Oxygen Concentrator, uh, TOC. Uh, we'll have some information about that right here. Uh, the TOC is really nice because it does have a lot of the same uh, options that the Eclipse 5 right here has, uh, but it is a little bit lighter. Speaking of which, the Eclipse 5 is the big mama of portable oxygen concentrators. It is about the size of a lot of home concentrators. Uh, the big thing is that it has a battery. It has a lot of uh, options for settings on it. It goes up to a nine pulse dose, which is kind of crazy. It has a, a higher continuous dose setting than any other of these machines. Um, and on top of that, it has a really long battery life. If you put it on that highest setting for the uh, machines, it does get pretty loud. But other than that, if you have it on a lower setting, like a setting that these normal machines would do, it's actually really quiet because it's so big. Uh, this machine is also 24 seven use if you need it to. Uh, it actually makes sense with this one as well because it's huge. And finally, we have the Philips Respironic Simply Go right here. Uh, it's the big brother to the Simply Go Mini. It's nice, it's stylish. It doesn't have that LED touchscreen on it, unfortunately. It does actually have the option for a shoulder strap, though. That'll hook up right here. It only weighs 10 pounds, so if you're a little bit stronger and you're able to carry that around with you all day, that could be a really good option for you. 
especially if you do need a continuous dose.